Judaism we learn to share our love. And what better way to share our love than sharing our food with others? TB Table is a member-driven food production service where we are creating meals on a mass scale. We have been feeding our community forever, right? We cook for each other, that's what we do. But we've never done anything like this. I was sitting in a meeting with Rabbi Susan Wine, and he came to us after having just met with the leader of the Wellesley Village Church, and where he learned about their initiative called Village Table where their members are creating food on a mass scale. Over the last 10 years, I've been working in an initiative called CASA, where we would do direct service in the Boston area. Generally speaking, this service was almost exclusively around hunger and homelessness. Joel asked us, within the context of COVID, can we do this here? I went back to the CASA committee and I told them that I had just heard about an amazing opportunity, that it would be the biggest thing that we've probably ever done here at TBE. We are talking about meeting the scale of the need with the scale of the offering, and that means we need to be able to make a lot of meals. And we were really inspired, um, Gary, Arthur and his village table team of volunteers are making close to a thousand meals a month. And we were like, oh well, if they can do that, you know, can we do that? It felt like both basic and radical to take on something as difficult and as big as hunger. Part of doing this is really seeing need around us. I went from six-figure salary to 14000 a year. I was lucky enough to be a member here and I was lucky enough to have friends that helped me secure an apartment because I didn't even have enough for first, last, and, and uh, security. There were weeks that I had 20 hours in my pocket and I had to make it last. You know, I remember going into the grocery store and shopping and I always carried a hand basket because when you have $20, you're not buying a lot of groceries. And I went to the condiment aisle because I knew I needed pickles. And I picked up the pickles and I looked at it and it was $2.39 for the jar of pickles. And I looked at it and I thought, am I gonna have tuna fish? Because I like pickles in my tuna fish. And I thought, you know, I can't afford the pickles. I mean, $2.39. I don't think you can buy a coffee at Starbucks for $2.39. I would go home and I would be thankful. I have a bed to sleep in, I have a roof over my head. I'm lucky. I am so lucky. And while there wasn't, you know, a lot of food, I still had my bed or I still had a roof. And I think of the people that don't, it is in your own backyard. We have made close to a thousand meals I'm not only proud, I'm just amazed by it. I feel like what we're doing is we're putting down roots that are deep and enduring. It's really up to us, those who are able to give, to make sure we reach out to those who are in serious need of placing a meal on the table for their children, for their families, for themselves. And we can do it here in our temple community.